Uh, you know, especially in 1 Corinthians 12 and Romans 12, the, the Apostle Paul tells us uh, that there is a variety of gifts that we have in the body of Christ. Uh, if everybody were a mouth, then where would the hands be? If everybody uh, were feet, then where would the ears be? We're all part of the body of Christ. Every part of that body is absolutely essential. And in Ephesians 4, Paul tells us, look, when it comes to being united to Christ, being a, a full member of his body, being baptized by the Spirit into Christ, we're all on the, the same level. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, and we're part of one body. We all share exactly the same gift of the Spirit in that sense. But in addition, he goes on to say, again in Ephesians 4, that the Holy Spirit, in addition to that gift of salvation, has handed out all sorts of other gifts. And it's interesting, these are gifts not that the person who has them needs. These are gifts that other people need in the body of Christ. And so God actually gives me a, this is not my spiritual thing, like am I, am I a Libra or a Capricorn? This is, what has God given me that someone else needs? So you're always thinking when it comes to spiritual gifts, not what has God given me for my own enjoyment, my own pleasure, but what has God given me for someone else and for the broader need of the body of Christ? When we're thinking in those terms, we'll also have what we need because someone else in the room has something we need. That's the way the body of Christ functions. God gives somebody a, a carton of milk that uh, a baby over here needs. <laughs> God gives somebody uh, over here uh, the gift of discernment that someone over here is kind of caught up in bad teaching needs. Go around the room and realize that God has given everybody a rich diversity of gifts for the functioning, the full functioning and health of the whole body.